the Israeli Professional Football League is having problems with their fans. Major League Soccer and the CBA deal is trying to avoid their lockouts. And the Ukraine Soccer Club has 25 virus cases and shutting everything down. And I'm going to give you my thoughts on the protests and riots that are occurring. All of this on episode 518. So we're going we're gonna to talk about a lot of things. But first, we're going to talk about my wonderful collection of stuff you can buy at CoachCamera.com. You can get cell phone cases. You can get leggings. You can get mugs, T-shirts, socks, all to support this podcast. You can do that. You definitely can do that. But if you don't, so be it. I already bought my stuff. I'm excited about it. I should get it any day now. But first... We have authorities are livid after soccer fans, players, mass at stadium to celebrate when. How dare they do that, those disgusting human beings. The health ministry and the government body of the country's soccer league reacted angrily Wednesday after hundreds of fans gathered outside a Tel Aviv stadium Tuesday night without a trace of social distancing to celebrate their team team's win. Oh, my word. They're not social distancing. This whole social distancing, this is why people don't listen to government and these weirdos are trying to run the world, telling us to do this, do that. There's, it's never happened. Social distancing has never happened. It has not. Walmart's been open. Home Depot's been open. QT's been open. Circle K's been open. Uh, matter of fact, there's been more gatherings when you sh- only can open say six locations you can go to these six locations but nowhere else where does everyone go they all go to the same freaking place it would have been much easier to social distance if everything was open you ever thought about that if everything was open we had a better chance of social distancing but when we're all confined to home depot home depot we are interacting more so how stupid and ignorant do we have with, with these government officials? What, what do you think, for all the ones that support government, you're dealing with a bunch of idiots. Their sole job is to do what? Get reelected. That is it. They don't, they don't have to think for themselves. They don't have to plan and learn through their own failures and stuff. The, the only failures they can have is lose an election. That is it. They're not competent. At all. Social distancing and the uh, we're doing herd immunity regardless. We're just shutting down the economy. That's what we're doing. But what do I know? I could be a scientist. I, you know, I am a scientist. Listen to me. And guess what? I'll be just as right as all the other scientists because the science is always changing. So therefore, they're always wrong. We should just get back to normal. And the ones that scared need to stay home. I move back on to soccer. Oh, shut up, Coach Cameron. What are you talking about? Just do what you're told. I will not, but you must. Okay, well, then I must. But can I have a thought? Can I have my own opinion? Can I have my own freedoms? Can I take my own risks in this world? And I will risk other people's lives. Yes, that, that's what I'm doing. I'll stay away from the elderly. How's that? I'll stay away from uh, going to the uh, uh, the locations where the elderly are being uh, held, where they're dying. Freaking a man. Uh, yeah. On so Israeli soccer resumed this past Saturday, but with heavy restrictions, including that no fans were allowed into the stadium, and they are enforce, enforcing social distancing to battle the coronavirus. But hundreds of fans gathered just outside the stadium Tuesday night and erupted in celebration after the match, reported, um, reportedly complicating a planned discussion on the rules for the remaining of the season. Uh, coming from a fan, we want to be here. Why can we go to the beach but not here, a fan told the public broadcaster. Of course, yeah, nothing makes sense. You can go to Home Depot. You can go to the beach. You can do this, but you cannot go in that stadium. Don't you dare watch soccer over there. You can't do it because we're all scared. This whole we have to create a we're we're not we're not creating 
safety. We're not. We're trying, we're trying to create an appearance, an illusion. We are so stupid. We, we have to have an, a, an appearance and an illusion of safety in order to function in this world. That's, that's what we're doing. It's so freaking stupid. The Israeli Professional Football League, IPFL, the body in charge of the soccer leagues, intends to summon representatives for a hearing due to the players' cooperation with illegal gathering. How dare you? And could find the club, Army Radio reported. Yeah, you're going to find them. They're, yeah, find them. They're broke. They're getting killed because they can't make any money. They can't get fans. They can't sell concessions. They can't do anything, and people can't work. We're going to find you. Eventually, fines don't work anymore because they're just all going to crumble. I mean, just, I don't know. And guess what? I might be wrong. Just as much as those freaking scientists. Uh, MLS players near CBA deal to avoid lockout. You better avoid the lockout. But who? what lockout? I guess a players from what? Playing soccer? I if If I am Major League Soccer, you want a lockout because in a lockout, no one gets paid, and you just wait. Ooh, I'll be a scab. I'll go play. Major League Soccer and MLS Players Association appear to be heading towards an agreement on economic concessions for 2020, as well as revised collective bargaining agreements terms, according to Taylor Twellman. If the and by the way, Taylor Twellman, you know your stupid post about uh, are we canceling July 4th? I don't feel like so. Shut up. Shut up, freaking tool. It, it, yeah, I'm celebrating it. I don't need you or the government to tell me how to I will celebrate it. I got fireworks. I'm good to go. If the agreement is completed and ratified, it will see the two sides avoid a lockout that had been threatened by the league last Sunday. The deal will help MLS gain some economic relief from the damages suffering during the coronavirus pandemic, which prompted the league to shut down on March 12th. Sources tell ESPN that the two sides are expected to find a middle ground on the issue of salary cuts and revenue sharing broadcast rights. So the latest offer of MLS was like 7.5% pay cut. Um, and far as the revenue sharing it, it the deal is supposed to be completed until 2023 which will result in 25 percent broadcast right fees blah 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 uh we got problems the budgets are changing will people really watch mls will they really watch it's not the same without fans i'm sorry it's not even close it's not even freaking close uh, Major League Soccer just figure it out, man. It, it sucked, man. MLS was just tearing it up, doing so well, taking over in America and in soccer, and boom. Got hit pretty hard. Still getting hit pretty hard. The Ukrainians, the Ukraine soccer club has 25 viruses cases among players and staff. This, this is what I'm nervous about with the Women's Professional League coming up. MLS is going to try to do some things. They're going to be doing all these uh, testing uh, every week, and here we go. A Ukrainian soccer team has found 25 cases of the coronavirus among players and staff. The Ukrainian Soccer Association said Tuesday the positive result at, um, at results came from 65 tests. The team's first game was called off a, a day earlier because of the suspected virus cases, and the league has now postponed two more of its matches. The league still plans on finishing its scheduled games as planned for what to happen by the league's planned end date of July 19th. Its opponent would face a packed run of scheduled games. Kind of like the ACCAC, the conference I reside in. Uh, yeah, we, we'll play three, four, five games in one week. I've done it. Just get to it. Just have unlimited subs. Everyone who tested positive is in isolation and that training has been canceled ahead of a two-week quarantine period. This is so freaking stupid. Now, I'm just curious. Are these these professional athletes of, of Ukraine, the ones that got the COVID, are they sick? Or are they just tested for it? Do they feel fine and they just test for it? Uh, what is it? My guess is that they're healthy and they're strong and they have a trace of it. And it, you imagine, say, you're, you're uh, 
your team official. I mean, they won't announce who it is because, you know, confidentially. So 25 viruses on, on one organization. Uh, so we can't play. Maybe they weren't ready to play. Maybe their star player is um, hurt, twists his ankle, and be like, oh, let's, let's just report that a bunch of people uh, have COVID. They, they're not allowed to see it because of uh, HIPAA laws or something like that. Um, we are going to not play right away because we can't lose because we need to win the league title, blah, blah, blah. That could be going on. And even if they have COVID, some form of COVID or the flu or whatever, play. Michael Jordan did it with uh, supposed food poisoning, which he didn't have. Uh, he just eats stupidly and drinks too much at the time and smokes too many cigars. Uh, yeah, just play. Why, why are we protecting the healthy and quarantining the healthy? They're fine. The only ones we need to take care of is the elderly and the the ones with uh, health can, uh, health issues, like the ones that smoke for like 30 years, and then they get it. Yeah, you better watch out for them. It just it's a nightmare this whole thing. We have to get we have to go back to normal. I'm sorry. The the here's normal. Let us just have freedom to choose what we want to do. Let's just let's have the freedom to do so. And the ones that are scared, you have the freedom to stay home. It has to be that way. It just has to be. This is isn't working. We have mass riots. And protesting all over America. No social distancing. None. It's not. We might as well just go back to normal. Because it's not happening. Because I'm at Walmart. I'm at Home Depot. I'm at QT. I'm at all these places. I'm not social distancing. I mean, I'm paying attention because everyone has us all freaked out. Uh, We just need to go back to normal. And the ones that can't. Because they're scared or they have uh, health issues, they they get locked down. Because the unattended consequences, I've said this to me freaking times, the unattended consequences are huge and real. The economic impact of all this is devastating and it's going to kill millions. It's, it's already set that way. When America shuts down, the world shuts down. We need to get our act together. We need to get our freaking act together. Um, so I'm I'm in Seattle, and uh, all the riots and and uh, protests break out in Seattle, and it's bad in downtown Seattle. And I'm just in an island, just a very very boat ride away from downtown Seattle. The same location I have to go through to get to the airport, and I goofed everything up trying to get home. And I'm just, it's seeing all this stuff nonstop on the news is, it's getting ridiculous. And you have two sides. You have CNN saying, this is, you know, this is, what did you expect? It's Donald Trump's fault. And then you, you know, you have the other side where it's, you know, it's talking about how the the media is fanning the flames and all that, which they are. Um, this whole thing's a mess. It's a freaking mess. And, you know, everyone's being like pushed to, Put push Black Lives Matters, you know, like show your support. And if you don't, I, I know who you are. You better speak up and have the voice. I'm like, what are you freaking talking about? I, I think it's lazy to post like, oh, I, I, Black Life, Lives Matter. You know, I think it's lazy. I think it's out. I, I did my do. I, I posted on Facebook. It's lazy. It doesn't work. I, I did what I, I posted. So I've been, I've been, you know, I won't post. I, I, I won't do it. I can't. I can't. It, it, it doesn't serve a purpose for me. You know, I don't think it serves a pur- purpose in this world. I think our actions are what we need to do. So, so I made a conscious uh, thought that I, I'm gonna. I want. I want. I want change in this world, and. The only thing I can do is control my environment, my community, and who I come in contact with. Not through social media, because social media is fake. It's not real. 
It's not. It's not real. It's not real. Porn- pornography. It's not real. It's fake. This is. We we are fed so much fake. You know what's real is human contact one on one. Texting back and forth is not real. Emailing isn't real. There's so much contact context missing. Complete. Not not there. One on one human contact where you could see their their face and you can read their body language and you really can get to know someone. That's real. So I decided I'm like, I'm going to make an impact on this world through love and and service. Uh, th- that's what I'm doing. And I, I've been on and off with that. Like, you know, I've been lazy at that um, at times. I, and sometimes I've been really good. And, and a lot of it's, you know, following, following the teachings of, of Jesus Christ. I, I'm, I'm a big believer in that. And I want to do what is right. And so I'm like, I, I made a conscious decision. Like, I need to get back to that. I need to make sure I'm serving, ser- serving others. So uh, I'm in, uh, yesterday morning, I'm, uh, I'm Bainbridge Island and I'm running a ton. Like I'm over 200 miles during this quarantine and I'm doing five to 10, well, five to seven miles a day. And running on Bainbridge Island is just beautiful. So I'm doing my last run. I'm so excited about it. And, uh, I'm, I'm driving to another part of the Island to run on. And I see this, um, this camper, uh, or not camper, the, uh, those motorhomes. And I see this guy driving and he's easily 70s, 80s. He's, he's, he's up there. And the side of his Winnebago, is, his doors are flapping open and I'm driving across and I, and I see, uh, one of his suitcases fly out of there. So I turn around, I picked it up and I followed him you know, for 30 minutes trying to get to him because it was like a one lay road and end up in Paul's bow and, uh, flagged him down and helped, you know, got him to pull over and helped him. I gave him a suitcase back and, and showed him all the doors that are open and, you know, he's thankful and stuff. And I, I just moved on and, um, that was it. I'm like that. I, I'm, I'm, that's where I was at the time and I found an opportunity to serve and I did it. And I'm going to do that as much as I can. And I'm going to build upon that because that's all I can do. It's it. It's not a post. Look at me. I posted. I support. That's not real, people. Facebook isn't real. This podcast isn't real. It's more real than a lot of the crap you're doing. At least you can see me if you're listening to me on YouTube or watching me on YouTube. Um, we, we have real problems. I want to be be helpful in a solution i really do Uh, i I want i want to find a way to help with that so that's how i'm gonna roll i got i got a new closing song because facebook says my last closing song it, it was owned by somebody so they took me down anyways guys have a have a blessed day serve others and find a way to have an impact in your small community. If we all did that, focus on the one-on-one contact, we could change the world. And that's what I'm planning on doing. I'll see you guys tomorrow.